I'm being soba master 25 years. The Uzuki restaurant is so special because I was a restaurant making 100% buckwheat noodle every day by hand. It is so difficult to make it because no gluten, no glue. Usually, soba restaurant using 20% gluten wheat flour because technique is so difficult. Meditation skill most important secret key to do this technique. So my finger can see inside the core. Buckwheat has prevention many many diseases. So I cannot stop researching to share that is my life work. Hi, my name is Shuichi Kotani. This is my restaurant Uzuki. Please follow me. This is a cafe as our waiting area. This is our restaurant. This design is inspired from the 19th century Brooklyn Green Point mixed with a Japanese traditional soba restaurant. I was concept like a meditation spot, not only restaurant. Let's start, let's go. So now it's 10 a.m. Before making soba noodle, I have to make the duck broth. This duck bone and the chicken bone prepared yesterday. This dish is our signature duck shio soba and the ume shio soba. We are cooking for the three types of the duck. Chinese Peking duck, Japanese roasted duck, and French duck confit. This is duck bone mixed with chicken bone too. Only duck bone is uh, gonna be irony more than chicken bone, more balanced with chicken bone. So I added in water and then my convection oven is ready, perfect temperature. I don't wanna mix with another garnish for the six hour because change color for the simple flavor from the whole bone. Umami flavor is explosion. The temperature I set for 208 Fahrenheit, six hours. Keep simmering, low and slow. I don't wanna strong boiling because taste becomes more irony. あ、ありがとうございます。はい、これは何ですかラウスコンブとラウスコンブ。表面のあのブレンドにしてみたんで、よかったらぜひ楽しんでください。あ、わかりました。はい。うん。イズダックブロスイズコンバインウィズダッシ
now we're ready to make in soba noodle. Let's go. This is a kneaded bowl we call the kibachi. Very special urushi coating. Urushi is a protection for the bacteria. This is uh, I'm using for the over 10 years. This is a samui, real Japanese chef coat. Like a, looks like a denim. So very flexible to movement. It's a very simple material. And then this is most important. This is the making for the, my backbone is go making straight. And then more easy to movement. This is a buckwheat, just a grind from store mill. And then I mix with a 4% for the matcha powder. I'm making for the one kilo buckwheat flour is a 4%, it's gonna be 40 gram, a lot. Matcha soba noodle for cold dishes. I'm using for the ours deluxe sashimi soba and then salmon ikura and the uni ikura soba. Deluxe sashimi has seven types of seafood. Matcha makes natural bitter and then seafood example for uni, she achin is sweet. So that is uh, making good balance. Then first is uh, I'm using for the sifter. So the shifter is making more fine. It's meaning easy to mix with water. Buckwheat doesn't have a gluten. It's very hard to soaking up water. This is a very important process. The after filter become very like snow. And then matcha powder, shifter too. So after the shifter is uh, easy to soaking up each part. Then now, start to mix before editing water. My brain now is after the meditation is a lot of serotonin come from the buckwheat and the matcha. This buckwheat grow in the Rochester, New York. Rochester, New York is a six hours driving from New York City. It's very similar weather with Japan. Natural water come from the Finger Lake from Canada. This is 100% organic buckwheat. This water is the charcoal, binchotan filter water and then have to mix quickly. So I start to movement my body. Already my brain is uh, now is empty. So I can see uh, 300 degree. I can see uh, in the bottom and um, so back through to the, my finger like using. And then my old joint start to moving. And then close eyes. I just my sense using for the nose and the finger, ear, hearing. This is people say like a zone, meditation zone. So now is uh, my body is a very automatic movement, like looks like dancing with a buckwheat. If you start to open eyes, so only focus on the surface, I cannot feel for the hundred percent. I have to close eyes this time. It's, I can see more, more than usual. This is a mizu mawashi process is a uh, mizu is a water. Mawashi is uh, like a rolling. This is a mizumawashi. So my brain now is very happiness, like alive. More water. This is a motion I call the ocean wave. Looks like hitting each ball. Looks like ocean. And then it's gonna change like a volcano. It's like a more dynamic movement. I can feel it's very good now. The dough is ready. I can feel, I can touch. The texture is uh, like uh, similar like uh, my ear, like uh, this. So I have to waiting for the good timing. Now is a uh, perfect. Making a one dough. This is a kone. Kone is a kneading process. I wanna see inside more deeply. So I have to spread two bowl. This is uh, my technique, original technique. So used to be people needing one dough. So my style is a uh, spread two dough. Its texture is uh, more become amazing. This is uh, tsunodashi. 
Tsunodashi is uh, like an acorn, making acorn. Air out. Air out all the air from the door, like a ceramic. Air pocket out, like this. From this part is starting break more and more quickly. I have to finish. In. This is a buckwheat flour, and then only center part, more white. This is a making flat. This is tenoshi. Te is a hand. Noshi is a rolling, making spread out more and more. Then start to using a rolling pin. This is kokutan, very heavy rolling pin. And also this is a very limited because this wood is a so special, very straight. Craftman is already leave, passed away is meaning all the people, all the generation is a no, no more rolling pin in Japan. This is a most antique tool in Japan. I'm using for the over 20 years now. I'm going for the making thing until 1.5 millimeter. If stopping, it start to break. Impossible to fix it because no glue. Very sensitive. Time is now 12 p.m. Fish coming from the Japan. I cannot stop. <laughs> I want to check fish for the more rolling, rolling. And then start to using a long rolling pin. This is a maki bow. Maki is a protect to the moisture because dough is a getting bigger and bigger. I need to wrap same time. Now is a making a square. So now it's a very easy to break, like a grass. This is a like a cat paw. Cat paw is a more control easy. I'm learning from the Mr. Oguchi. He's already passed away long years ago. I'm final student with him. He's a genius. He's an entrepreneur. He's an architecture. He's a sober master. His energy is come my shoulder. Is working together for the keep researching. Because long history, buckwheat has many nutrient, natural medicine. I'm researching for the prevention of many disease. Now it's ready. Just cut. This process is a tatami. Tatami is a falling dough. Tatami. It's so beautiful, right? I'm falling four times, become like this. This is Komaita cutting guide board, so making flat. This is a namabune. This is a keep a moisture in the this box. This is a soba kiri bocho. Soba is a buckwheat. Kiri is a cut. Hocho is a knife. Soba kiri bocho. Three pound. This material shark skin. Shark skin because I, I'm using long long hour cutting. Sometimes four hours keep cutting. Four hours. So this grip is a help. This is a over two thousand dollar. This is cheap one. This is I have a memory for the long years. So first of my salary, everything going to the, you know, $2,000 or the, like a camera. <laughs> yeah, this is my passion. I, I cannot change. 26 years still, still work. Yeah, Japanese material very strong. Let's go. Sometime I'm cutting for the few hours. Non stop. Separate the noodle and then just go straight to the this wooden box. Two, two, three hours in the keep aging is the texture much better. So you can cook for the lighter weight, so, but the Uzuki restaurant is uh, always aging two, three hours. 
Next is break down tuna for the sashimi soba. Oh, thank you. Yes, this is bluefin tuna. Bluefin tuna. So can I see? Oh. This is Sato. He's a famous sushi chef in New York. He's a always find good quality fish for us. So I want to check the taste and the texture and then smell and the color. Hmm. It's good. Thank you. So, oh, this is from Hokkaido, the uni. This is for the uni ikura soba and the deluxe sashimi soba. So beautiful. Hmm. Nice. ありがとうございます。はい、またよろしくお願いします。オッケー。オッケー。レッツゴーカットザフィッシュ。This yeah, this part is uh, better for the cook. Tuna steaks. Now take the lean part, red part. This is more tasty. This is a uh, harami skin. It's a little bit harder. <laughs> Everything going to uh, our staff meal. So no slow. Yeah, making sushi block like this. Saku is a uh, fire. Then easy to prepare for the sashimi. So one deluxe sashimi soba is a uh, two piece each. Deluxe sashimi soba has a uh, two part, an akami part and the mix with a chew toro part. This is uh, enough for the 60 order for this block. Decided position and then just straight cut. And then same like this size, one finger half, just go straight. Like this is akami. I like uh, more akami because more tasty. You can taste like uh, more real tuna. The fat part is uh, more enjoy for the texture, like this. Okay, chef, can you keep for the, this super freezer? Okay, thank you. Now I'm making soba tofu. The soba tofu is uh, with dashi broth, with wasabi, and with scallion. Very simple ingredients, but the process is very unique. Japanese tofu usually using a soybean with nigari and then salt. So, but uzuki soba tofu a little bit different. I'm using a soy milk. I'm using honkuzu. This is a uh, very healthy more than other starch. Also, price is a uh, ten time corn starch. Makes more uh, like a soft, like a melt easily in mouth. This is uh, made from the root vegetable. Mix like this. It's much healthy benefit more than potato starch, corn starch, tapioca starch. This is the best starch in the world. Little bit soft. Mix it. And then a little bit sugar. And then this is a sesame paste, the natural sesame paste. This is a more uh, open the flavor, making rich flavor, rich taste. I'm making this tofu the two times every day. This one have to heat up for the making thick because I'm using a starch. Making good texture, I cannot directly heat. I have to simmering. I'm doing a double boiler like this. This is a key. Control the temperature little by little. I just keep mixing like this until ticky. This is a very sensitive taste, so I cannot heat directly. Taste will become bitter. I have to cook five minutes. Yeah, now it's uh, getting thicker. It's almost there. And then finally, I'm mixing with buckwheat seed. This one already boiled. The mix, so good. Buckwheat is making nice texture, texture like a quinoa and into the nagashikan, so two layer become like this. And then after air out. Now it's ready and then keep a refrigerator one hour. It's complete. Next is a grind buckwheat seed for the tomorrow. 
it's called This is a buckwheat seed. In Japan has 11 kind character variety buckwheat. Is a New York is a over 50 kind buckwheat. And then I still researching for the which buckwheat seed is more unique combining making taste better. This is stone mill grind the little by little. Too much is you cannot evenly grind. I'm looking for the more fine grind like a meditation. <laughs> Some buckwheat that the taste is so sour no delicious for the, the noodle. So I'm choosing for the taste and the texture. Harvesting season, October. This time now is I have to investigation for the which buckwheat is uh, delicious and then has a potential in the future. And then if the seed is good taste, I keep for the next three years. Buckwheat is three times expensive more than regular wheat. So I, I order for the over $2,000 monthly. Now it's grind down, so I keep for tomorrow. Taste is good, very fresh. Now it's a 4 p.m. I need to prepare for the service. Let's go. I want to go to the making ceramic. Reset second of meditation time before opening. Ceramic is the most important for me. I try to make in bowl. Ceramic is a have to high concentration and also same time I can do a meditation. So uh, restaurant is uh, cannot stop until 10 p.m., 11 p.m. I need to more high concentration. I'm doing this ceramic only two months so far. I make 90% ceramic by myself. But I think this texture very similar soba. is meaning easy for me to control the clay. Almost 5 p.m. I finish this clay, so I back to the kitchen to work. So now is the time to mise en place. First is peeling daikon. Next, I cut for the red radish. Now is I grind like this. Fresh wasabi for the sashimi. The wasabi have to be fresh before open, have to grind. This is dark broth, is a already rich broth, but my restaurant Uzuki is some more exposure umami flavor. It's come from the, this morning, okume dashi, just two spoons and then mix for the complete our duck broth. Now it's a 5 p.m. so I change the shoes. This is a help for the more focus for the good service for the dinner. And then now is a, I'm gonna go put the flag is outside. It's meaning opening. This is a soba, Japanese soba. <laughs> okay, lady, we are open. Thank you very much for the following me. And now is the time to open my restaurant. Thank you very much, arigato, bye.